it is a quarter of a can, guys. And I am so late with my login. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 51 degrees. Today, expect a high of 69 degrees. All right. <sighs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on. That's just how I get down. <laughs> okay, that one open so it can start looking for me. That's it, right? Oh, Lord. <laughs> I sure don't feel like doing this today. This I'm late. I actually didn't go to bed till 3 o'clock this morning. And so I ended up waking up this late. I usually walk at 6 and 7 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'll see you. That's Gabriel, my neighbor. I hope this thing ain't Ooh, man. I really hope it's not. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, so that's my my neighbor, Gabriel. I don't usually like to stop and talk to him, but I avoid him so much <laughs> that when I do see him, I start feeling guilty. I'm saying, hey, how you doing? Because I know that every time he opens his mouth he's got a story to tell and it's usually a long story so he just gave me a mouthful about Kirk we call him Captain Kirk you guys have seen him before in one of my videos but uh, anyway so he has something to say about Captain Kirk he has something to say about Lloyd and somebody named Art. I don't know who Art is, but he has something to say about it. So definitely, if you uh, if you live here and you want to know what's going on in the building, Gabriel, in a long roundabout way, will tell you. He, <laughs> oh, honey. Anyway, listen, it is after nine. Actually, it's 10 minutes to 10. And y'all know this is not the time I'm usually out here. I'm always, I'm always trying to, sorry about that. Always trying to get out of here early. I don't know why. <laughs> Come to think of it. But uh, one of the one of the things 
that I pride myself on <laughs> is probably uh, the fact that I get up early and then come out here and walk. Now, <laughs> problem today, I don't know what happened. I'm serious. Last night it was all a blur to me. Uh, I had a little bit of herbal medication and uh, started watching TV. In fact, I fell asleep with my headphones on because I was watching something on YouTube. So that's why I'm out here 10 minutes to 10 in the morning because I spent most of last night, like I said, in a fog or a blur. But, uh, oh, I didn't mention I had a glass of wine with my herbal medication. So, well, you know, what happens is what happens. But, uh, remember I said that I'm going to uh, start back taking my uh, antidepressant and um, that I won't have to use that herbal medication <laughs> and wine. Uh, I did want to mention that uh, one of my Facebook friends uh, is now a YouTube subscriber, Martha Garcia. Hi, Martha. Uh, yeah, we were chatting it up last night. Um, I made a vegetable bowl for dinner, which was parsnips, butternut squash, um, Brussels sprouts. What else? Asparagus and acorn squash. Yeah. And uh, that's all I had. No protein. I was going to put an egg, over easy egg, on. Uh, I love Volkswagens. I sure do love Volkswagens. <laughs> I used to have one as 1966. I think it was a 66 bug. I love them. And that was that was uh, right around the time that I had gotten married. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I made this. Uh, platter of roasted vegetables for dinner and I'm sorry guys I'm, my speed is kind of up and I don't have my my earphones in my earplugs <laughs> or earbuds whatever I don't have them today because those are the ones I fell asleep with so it wasn't charged up enough Anyway, so yeah, Martha and I were talking about these vegetables. And you know, she's like, oh, I took a picture of them before I roasted them. Because you know, vegetables, uh, when you roast them, they don't look as, oh look, a baseball game. I walked right past this, I didn't even see it. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you guys can see it. It's 
So these guys, they must be practicing for tomorrow. I mean, for, look at that. Lord have mercy. I <laughs> walked right past them. Didn't even know they were out there playing. You know, that's a shame. <laughs> so yeah, uh, you know, we're talking about these vegetables. And like I said, I took a picture of the pan before I put them into roast. Like I said, they, you know, they don't look as appetizing when they're roasted. You know, they're crispy. You can see the browning on the vegetables, which I love. And oh, asparagus is my favorite. But I do have to, along with talking about Martha and our conversations about the vegetables, I have to do another shout out to Sandy, the artistic vegan, uh, the artistic vegan home. I always forget that part. Uh, yeah, shout out to her because uh, it's because of her that, look at this is fresh, this is fresh dirt. I'm trying to figure out how he gets out here. Well, I guess when you're throwing dirt out your way, you don't care where it goes. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, it was uh, Sandy who who initially got me into uh, exploring new vegetables. She didn't encourage me uh, verbally, but you know, watching her videos and and seeing what she does as far as cooking, um, I said, oh yeah, I'm gonna try it because she makes it look so good. You'd be like, oh, hell yeah. And you know, honestly, it looks like my body craves vegetables. They taste so damn good to me. When I roast them in season, oh my God. And I put a little olive oil. I put a little olive oil on, uh, I put olive oil on them. I sprinkle them with a little bit of uh, salt. Well, I don't use salt. I use uh, a bouillon. It's like a bouillon cube, only it's not a cube. It's it's um, powder. It's by Knorr, K-N-O-R-R, -R, I think it is. Anyway, so, uh, you know, I, I do them with the olive oil. I um, I season them up and then uh, you know spread them out on the pan. Usually a non-stick pan, but on the pan uh, you can line it with foil or whatever you want to do. And uh, you know, stick them in the oven for at 350 degrees to 400, depending on you know how long you want to roast them. Because obviously you're just trying to get them soft and I'm telling you roasted vegetables are the way to go because I love them so thank you Sandy <laughs> and thank you Martha for subscribing to my channel and checking me out I appreciate that and if there's something I can do to help you on your journey, whatever your journey is. <laughs> if you think there's something I can do to help you, please ask. And I mean that for everybody, really. I'm just a normal chick. <laughs> well, I'm not normal. People that say they're normal, you need to watch out for them. So I take that back. I'm not normal. I am, well, I'm 50-50. Like I told you guys yesterday, I'm 50-50. I'm normal half of the time. <laughs> so, like I said, I'm just a regular chick. Uh, if I know something, you know, if I have knowledge of something, I, absolutely, I'm going to share it with you. Uh, if I'm not familiar, I probably know someone who is. And I'm going to tell you, uh, the very best person 
to get some kind of information from as far as life, that was Aunt Marie. I mean, come on. <laughs> she was in her 80s and she traveled the world. She was in the army for 27 years. She retired a full colonel. And you know, that's no small feat for a black woman to be a colonel in the military. So I'm very proud of her, but she's gone now. And it, you know, sometimes it doesn't matter how much time you spend with someone. As soon as that person leaves this world, uh, you're like, damn, I didn't find out this about her. I didn't find out that about her. And there's so many things that we, we think of. We're like, oh, you know, you're mad, you're frustrated because, you know, their life seems like it was so short. I think it's like that for everybody. You know, you feel like life is not sure. Good morning. How are you? Good. Thank you. You too. So that's a crazy man. The one I told you walks like he's so happy. <laughs> Honey. So he's not a creep. Okay, guys, can you see the baseball guys? Wait a minute, let me stand here. See, they're over there playing baseball. <sighs> There's a dog barking. I don't know. All right. Okay, guys. So, um, oh, I did want to, uh, before I forget, y'all know how that is. I wanted to let you know that today, when I weighed myself, I weighed in at 179.6 pounds. So, hallelujah to me. Because, well, because. All right, I'm gonna. This camera, everybody says this. I am, I don't like doing this. I don't like doing this at all. Because I'm camera shy. Shy, 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 camera shy. But, uh, one of my subscribers, Versatile, Versatile Network. Go check him out. He's doing big things in 2019, y'all. Anyway, so he says to me, show your beautiful face on camera sometime. So, I'm doing it, okay? I don't know what I look like out here. It's not like I have a mirror. I can, you know, check myself and shit. <laughs> before I get on camera. <laughs> but, all right, here I am. Well, all 179.6 pounds. <laughs> all right, you guys are going back. Let me just All right, I'll try to edit that. Uh, while I'm not talking. You guys be like, oh, she ran her mouth too much. But that's what I do. Walking and talking. I got a got a comment. I deleted it. <laughs> but it was a comment on one of my videos. And uh, the person, I don't know if it was a male or female, but the person said, and I'm I'm trying to quote and paraphrase at the same time. The cuss words were there. All that other stuff that I add on or paraphrase may or may not have been because the comment was nasty. So the person
person goes, who the fuck wants to listen to you walk and talk? And, uh, you know, no MCC this shit. You know, something like that. And I'm like, uh, thinking to myself, uh, why the fuck did you watch it? <laughs> I mean, because it says Techno Girl, walking and talking. You know, number blah, 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 whatever. So, what th- did you expect when you clicked on the fucking thumbnail, bitch? That's what I wanted to say. But, I don't entertain bullshit. So, you know, why even get that shit started? Because, uh, of course, uh, the person that left the comment had, like, zero subscribers, maybe two or three subscribers. Uh, you know, and just... Basically, it was a troll. And that's what trolls do. They lurk. We call a, a lurker troll. They lurk around and they find something wrong with everything. No matter what you look at, what you encounter, there's a nasty statement that's to be made. So, like I said, I didn't entertain the comment, but hey, I'm Techno Girl. I'm walking and I'm talking and I'm sure I said in my video this is my therapy for depression and anxiety. The talking is what gets me out of that funk. The walking is something I have to do for my health. So. This is not for your entertainment, Mr. Uh, Troll Lurker. This is not for your entertainment. I'm not here to entertain you. I am, I'm here to lose weight, to get fit, be healthy by any means necessary. And right now, This is the beans. <laughs> this is the means that I'm using to help my symptoms. Sorry about that. So, I don't know. I, I don't know how many. Well, I know that Sandy and Versatile, I know you guys have subscribers. Y'all doing the damn thing. And that's one of the reasons why I subscribe back because I'm interested in what you guys are doing now versatile one thing I really enjoy about his channel is he always drops wisdom Uh, you know he'll start talking and you know getting into the conversation that he's having and you know, he just drops some knowledge. Like, boom, there you go. <laughs> yeah, like dropping the mic. Uh, he, yeah, he just dropped some knowledge. And I appreciate that because, obviously, good morning. Obviously, he knows what he's talking about. So, you know, I keep going back, keep going back, keep going back. And the same for Sandy. Um, you know, she does these, um, uh, thrift store hauls and she's, uh, quite the artist. (laughs) Um, she, she sets, uh, Christmas dinner table. Um, and that's really not my thing, but I mean, I don't know how to do it, but I always get inspired when I watch her videos because she finds the baddest stuff when I say bad bad I don't mean bad bad I mean bad good like the bomb like you know yeah the bomb uh 
It looks really nice. <laughs> Stop using all this jargon. But yeah, her stuff is really nice. Um, she's got a little puppy, and uh, you know, I just, I just like her. I just like her. Martha, uh, she doesn't have any subscribers, but she does have a YouTube channel. And what I've been trying to do, uh, well, last night what I was trying to do was uh, encourage her to, I don't know, maybe step outside of her comfort zone and do something different. I don't know if, I, I think she's got a wedding coming up too. Not for her, I think it's for her daughter as well. But um, I don't know for sure, I'm gonna check it out and I don't wanna be saying nothing that's not true. But that is the end of this video, guys. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.